Welcome, uh, I'm Double D, a member of the uh, FGM Wargaming community, and this is my first after action report uh, for a quick battle between myself and Stephen545. Um, so I have two and a half thousand uh, units to spend. Uh, this is a full infantry, infantry only engagement, uh, and so what I've gone with is a US force which is comprising of two companies, uh, a weapons company with medium mortars uh, and also some uh, light mortar. So the medium mortars comprise uh, 81 millimeters and the lights are um, 60. I've also got uh, a couple of HMGs, so that's uh, four HMGs with uh, weapon support and ammunition support. There's the 60 millimeter light uh, mortars. A couple of pioneer squads to help blow the brocade and the bushes. And uh, some basic infantry sections. And somewhere around here. I have, okay, so that's uh, D Company, Weapons Company. And then I have A Company and B Company, which are the two infantry elements. Uh, so this is a uh, evening attack. Uh, and a meeting engagement with the objective there in the middle. So my plan here is to move to the right flank using the brocade here to take this as my first line and then push up to the second hedgerow here. Really hold uh, and advance on this right flank. There's also an opportunity here uh, to move right up the right hand flank here without uh, where I don't need to breach the hedgerow. So that's also going to be an opportunity. I expect uh, my opponent to hold his forces here. Uh, this is the farmhouse uh, which is overlooking the objective. Uh, so I'm thinking he's going to move in and hold this area here and then make this his uh, main firebase uh, and his secondary line of defence. Uh, and he's probably going to be defending uh, these hedgerows possibly all the way up to this uh, initial line that I'm looking at if he's quick enough. My second uh, avenue attack is going to be up the left flank here. So I'm going to push behind this hedgerow uh, using the entrance gates here and then form a line along this road and then move into this area if I can. There's not any natural breaks so I'm going to have to use my pioneers to blow through the uh, hedgerow and then push up to this line here where I can then uh, envelop an attack from behind. If possible uh, I'll look at taking that farmhouse uh, and using that as a firebase in order to suppress uh, my opponent the Wehrmacht and so, um, with my plan laid out, uh, let's move to the battle. So, turning off um, the artificial light and going into the battle here, you can see my forces uh, are pushing off on their initial from their initial kickoff points. Uh, so, A Company uh, heading off uh, towards the right flank and B Company moving off there quickly on the left. Uh, I must admit I really hate bunching all the guys together here like this, uh, but I have little choice to, to try and get through these, um, these gaps uh, in, the, uh, in the hedgerow. So A Company moving up here and I'm going to use my pioneers uh, to clear the way to, to try and get uh, as to the, the locations I want to get to as quickly as possible. So this is a, a few minutes in, uh, 
uh, and I've started to push up to my first objective here with A Company, uh, moving forces up to the road here, overlooking uh, the objective area and where I feel that he's going to be making his stronghold. Bringing my troops up quickly to the fence line and then uh, keeping them on weapons hold, uh, looking for any potential targets. On the left flank here, again moving up to the road, I've kept my uh, my sections on weapons, weapons hold, um, pushing them up to the uh, fence line and then using my pioneers here to push uh, and breach. This is where I see my first enemy activity. So he's breached uh, some hedgerow here, not quite sure why. See my forces all the way across uh, the map there. So on the left flank, starting to move uh, the platoon here, uh, keeping them on weapons hold and bringing my uh, MMGs up to support them. And then here on the right flank, starting to call in uh, some mortar strikes on where I think he's going to be the primary locations for his defence, uh, across by the barn there. Uh, and along by where uh, I'm thinking he's going to defend. And here's my first spot. So a sighting there from the guys on the road who are still on weapons hold, so they haven't opened fire. Roger, fire mission request. Out. Enemy infantry spotted. Quiet down, let's get some noise this way here. Some spotting rounds uh, come in, get more sightings of the enemy. The guys are still on weapons hold and so uh, the Germans start spotting them and, and opening up. You can see uh, an MG, what looks like an MG42 there, starting to fire upon the, the platoon that's behind the hedgerow by the road. Wehrmacht laying down some heavy suppressive fire there as more spotting rounds come in. Now I've released this platoon, giving them rapid fire orders, and weapons free. We see some of the first casualties of the engagement. Spotting rounds coming in as the troops on the left flank move forward, and then these guys on the uh, the right, I start moving up to the first hedgerow, or actually the second hedgerow that I was aiming to, to take. No uh, contact so far, which is good. So bringing the guys up, uh, stopping them just short of the hedgerow, and then uh, bringing them forward. To see what they spot. So here on the left flank, I push forward my pioneers. A bit adventurous here, uh, and so I start to take my first losses. Almost lose an entire fire team there, with the pioneers, three men down. So not all going my way at the Again, uh, on the right flank, the scout, uh, scout team I sent through encounters some defenders there, uh, and so I start to uh, receive fire. My guys, again, still on the weapons hold. As the mortars start to come in, and so then I issue either area fire orders or uh, let them go weapons free. And so the, the suppression, the battle for suppression starts. So at first it's really trying to work out who gets higher fire superiority, and then I suddenly realise this barrage, it's not mine. So this must be something that uh, Stephen's calling in, being ineffective. I push more guys up on the right flank, taking a few casualties as I find a, a deeper depth of defence. You can see here, from my opponent's view, as we battle out for the right flank here, mortars started to rage in. We just uh, try to lay down as much suppressive fire as possible to win the firefight. Gain fire superiority. Mm. 
Meanwhile, my mortars are starting to come in into the farmhouse um, on the hedgerow lines that I, I marked as possible areas where there's enemy activity. Also on the farmhouse there. And I'm bringing up another platoon to support the platoon on the uh, the left flank. Sending fire forward on the other side of the hedgerow uh, a couple of fire teams. Take some more heavy losses. And so I let let rip with the um, teams by the road to provide suppressive fire. So I can pull back that fire team and reduce my losses. Tracer fire in the dark there. Looks pretty cool. Water rounds flying in. Water rounds coming in on the house. Meanwhile, here on uh, my right flank. Firefight continues. More mortar rounds coming in on the main hedgerow. And then I've also called in some medium mortars, 60 mils, for direct fire. More, uh, more killing power there as I uh, try and take and force the enemy back in this area. Hard to tell right now who's winning the firefight. I'm not taking many losses. Uh, you can see me park in some areas where I'm bringing in direct mortar fire, which I find really effective. Uh, this kind of engagement. Mm. Starting to see some casualties with your Wehrmacht here. I'm catching them out here the down on the right flank. I do then spot a heavy machine gun here, the bottom left, which does cause me some problems. Can't get a sighting on him with the mortars. On the left flank, start sending forward uh, some squads, broken up uh, sections. So a couple of fire teams in a bounding motion on either side of the the field here, trying to move forward and not get bogged down by uh, the defenders on the other side of the, of the hedgerow. Fire team moving. There's a spot of a vehicle there, not quite sure what that is. A bit of a concern, but I've got to keep pushing forward. The team on the left here, one team providing cover. With the team bounding past, moving up to the hedgerow as quick as I can get them there. On the other side, the team pushing forward. Got some mortar fire coming in, also to try and suppress the, uh, the enemy on the other side of the hedgerow. First squad gets to the hedgerow and start to get some casualties. They spot various different contacts there and I start bringing up uh, a support teams as much as quickly as possible. Spot HMG group. Uh, meanwhile I'm pushing through with pioneers trying to get as large a field of fire as I can on the defenders by uh, this On the right flank, the battle's still going on, pounding away with mortars and the, uh, the infantry sections start to see perhaps signs of the, uh, the defenders buckling and our indirect fire continues to rain in both on the farmhouse 
I'm on the hedgerow line so that I can identify them. Also managed to bring up uh, an MMG. Also to provide firepower. And I think I think I've broken them, so I start sending out some scouts here on the left side of the uh, the field. I'm gonna use the darkness as cover. I'm not spotting anything at the moment. Also gonna suppress from mortar. And all of a sudden, bang! We're done. Can see there. Um, actually ended up fielding considerably more men than uh, my opponent. Uh, did a lot more casualties, 15 to 100. And if we, we have a look, I think um, my indirect and direct mortar fire here on the defensive line did some serious damage. Seeing various different fire teams, uh, MMGs and HMGs, which are all but wiped out. and beaten up troops. This HMDG team there on the bottom right left, uh, still in, in one piece, I managed to suppress them. Uh, and here in the centre, more casualties, uh, managed to destroy the farmhouse with a command element in, uh, killed or broken. Another HMG here on the left, some injuries and casualties. And the uh, and the entire section here wiped out mortar fire and, and section fire. Here on the right flank, same kind of picture, death, destruction. Uh, so my tactic really managed to work on enveloping my opponent and using the weight of numbers, infantry numbers. So complete inventory battle there. Um, he still had some more to support here, which um, didn't seem to come into play. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe he didn't get uh, a good line of sight on me. I want to say thank you to Stephen5545 um, for the battle and uh, look forward to the next engagement. Please subscribe if you like the video and uh, see you all soon.